I'm Kathy Yang, first vice president and group head for corporate communications for PLDT and Smart. The focus on customer centricity, customer obsession, if you will, is, is exactly what I had come to know of when I accepted the invitation to join the group. The avalanche of congratulatory messages from family, friends, and fans soon turned into a wave of service requests from irate customers. Suddenly, I had been thrust into the heart of the problem. It became an opportunity to be part of the solution. In one of the first hybrid group town hall sessions I moderated in the middle of the pandemic, PLDT Chairman Manuel V. Pangilinan called on all of us, from field champions to fellow Mancom members, to be our own customer ambassadors. It meant one thing, help whoever asked us for help in getting connected or having their service restored. It meant a lot helping those who reached out get connected or, or reconnected at the height of the pandemic. It's been both a humbling and empowering experience. Ultimately, it takes a cross-collaborative team to get the job done. Our commitment to get closer to our customers does not stop here. We're also keeping our on-ground engagements authentic, providing livelihood, education, disaster resiliency, as well as health and nutrition with the help of the digital tools and services our business offers. Because at the end of the day, our North Star is to get our customers to say that they want to stick around because they can count on us. At PLDT and Smart, we want to make sure that we lead digital lives for Filipinos. And that is our ultimate goal, is to give them the customer experience that they deserve and need in the digital era. The next page for the telecommunications industry starts right here at PLDT and Smart because we're undergoing a transformation journey. And that journey will bring us straight and closer to the customers more than ever, as that is our wish to be able to let them lead digital lives in order to ensure that they're able to be connected all the time with what the pandemic had taught us, connectivity had really become a basic need that we all would like for everybody to enjoy, not as a privilege, but as a right.